In 2015, we met with one of the sprinting division's greatest racehorses, Muharar. After winning the Jim Crack Stakes, Muharar went on to win the Commonwealth Cup, the July Cup, and the Champion Sprint Stakes, cementing himself as champion sprinter in 2015. After an illustrious career on the racetrack, Muharar retired to his owner Sheikh Hamdan's nunnery studs and has his first crop of yearlings hitting the sales in the coming weeks. Tom Pennington, nominations manager here at Shadwell, recounts the young stallion's career to date. Bred by Sheikh Hamdan um, and trained by Charlie Hills, a high class two year old, um, ran the gym crack, won it well, got there on the line, uh, went to the Middle Park Stakes at Newmarket where he was third um, and he progressed tremendously from two to three. Won the Greenham on his seasonal debut, broke the track record, beat Estig Carr in the process, a very good race. Um, went on to the French Guineas, where a combination of the draw and the ground probably played against him. And it's probably a blessing in disguise, because from there we dropped him down in trip, um, and he went to Ascot for the inaugural running of the Commonwealth Cup, and he blew them away. Um, won a tremendous style again, course record time, uh, quicker than Caravaggio, quicker than our own Estig card this year, so high class form, and then went on to Newmarket for the July Cup. Again, we beat the old horses very well, headed to France um, for the pre de Geese, again he won there, and then it all culminated at Ascot again for the Kipco Champion Sprint, um, where again he was hugely impressive. An all up he beat 15 group or grade one winners, so a high class horse, phenomenal horse. To, for a sprinter to go back to back in all those sprints, not many horses can do that, and it's just testament to how good he was. I think it's his looks and his outlook. He's so relaxed, and I think he's passed that on to his offspring. He's a, he's a great mover as well. Um, he's passed that on to his stock. He's really stamped him like that. He's super athletic, and all his foals have got massive walks, uh, which commercial breeders are really looking for, especially in the sales place, and that's why they've gone down so well. 11 sold um, for an average of 210,000 sterling. The medium was even more, I think it was 220 sterling. Uh, phenomenal. H highest price of 290 for a cold out of Sacre Coeur. Um, bred by Law Clients, which we ran a stud. Bought by Capital Bloodstock. It was beyond our wildest dreams. We didn't see that coming at all. But as I said, they're all stamped. They all look like him, walk like him. Great moves, as I said, and I think that's why they sold so well. I think Garcana is where the fireworks are going to be to begin with. You know, um, Henri Bozo has been a huge supporter along with Monso. Um, there's a filly out of Pacifique who comes down to the hammer there. Obviously her first fold, the Dubawi, sold for a, a record breaking 2.6 million. She looks very nice. Uh, called out Prudenzia. Um, you know how her yearlings go at Arcana. Obviously a half to Magic Wand that won the Ribbles this year, half to Chiquita. Um, so they've, they've got four selling. Uh, Ara de Cajran, they've got a very nice filly out of Avenue Gabriel. First foal, who looks phenomenal. Um, and there's a very nice horse coming from Ireland, a filly out of I'm in Love. So we've got six there who, you know, they'll, they'll hopefully they'll get the ball rolling and it's set the precedent for the year to come. Thank you.